Hello, in my recent videos I showed you M5 card computer and you wanted to know where this can be used in real life. So, here is example for you. Yes, in this video I will show you how to control your TV using this interesting ESP32 device. But, let's turn it off first. Welcome to my living room, here is my Samsung TV and here is original remote control for my TV which don't work anymore because my daughter tried to eat it. This power button is not working. So I buy this universal infrared original remote control is uh, Bluetooth but it was too expensive so I buy this original which is quite uh, ugly and here is another problem problem is that with this remote control I can control on only my TV I don't know uh, how it is uh, in the rest of the world, but here in Croatia we have these devices, this little box, and with uh, my inter internet service provider, ISP, is also selling me channels, my provider is TCOM, and I need another remote control to change channels and so basically right now I'm using three remote controls but with with this device I can control everything using only this for example right now I'm controlling TV Samsung but if I if I want to change channels I can uh, press FN and I'm, now I'm in TCOM so I can change channels with for example F or I can write number of channels di directly here using numbers or if I want to control TV I will go to Samsung I can go to home and I can choose for example YouTube and that's it in this video I will share you this code and I will show you how to do this uh, this code will not work for you yes it will wor work for you only if you have same setup so if you have Samsung TV you will you will be able to control your TV using this but probably you will need to decode your uh, infrared signals from your remote control and we are back in my basement so m5 card computer or card computer i had lots of fun using this board in past few days feature i love the most is huge battery inside so this device can give you hours and hours of runtime in this video i showed you my simple sketch for um, controlling TV and of, her, of course here is infrared transmitter on pin 44 which is uh, I don't use infrared a lot but here is a good example how this device can be useful so you using this method you can control any device which use infrared 
uh, as I said I will share your this code but it will work only if you have same setup if you don't have same setup you will need to decode your remote control signals using this this is infrared receiver it can be found very cheaply all, all over the internet and there are also boards with built-in with built-in infrared receiver I will go uh, through the code a bit so you can see so you can better understand what is happening uh, we are using infrared remote library very standard library we will use same library to decode our signals and code is not huge and for each button here is defined what is what is happening if tcom is selected it will send raw data raw decoded data which are stored here i stored each button here in this header file and if I'm not controlling TCOM, I'm controlling Samsung, it will send Samsung protocol codes which are in this hexadecimal format. So very simple and rest of code is used to draw this user interface this draw function is also not huge to decode your infrared uh, signals from your remote control you will need to uh, hook up uh, infrared uh, receiver of course to any development board you can use Arduino Uno I will probably put some link of some good tutorial which can help you and you will need this library infra red remote ESP 8266 and here you can find in examples you can find infrared receiver dump I'm using version 2 but I think for this example version 3 and version 1 will also work and now in serial monitor when I uh, press key on Samsung remote it will recognize that protocol is Samsung and code for that button is here so in my in my code we can recognize that Samsung has these type of codes and if I And if, if I press button on my, let's call it TCOM remote control, it will not recognize protocol, but here is a raw data. So only thing you need to is to copy this and replace this line with some line here. So the coding infrared signals are ve is very easy. There is no e encryption, and everything is open. So you can be real hacker. You can hack hack your own TV, or you can hack your I don't know neighbor's TV or TV on your work. I will not give you more ideas. And that's it for today. I hope that you like this. Uh, 
I made this sketch and this design just to show what is pressed and and it looks better with this if you are first time here I hope you like this video please uh, don't forget to subscribe please leave a comment and if you want to support my work you can buy me coffee link is in description same as always have a nice day and please tell me do you want to make something like this will this can this be useful to you for example um, i will try to in school where i work i have in uh, in every classroom i have different projector projector so i will try to make one button for each so i can turn turn it all using only this device because uh, remote control in classroom is always missing or batteries are dead or kids are stealing batteries on purpose thank you for your time and have a nice day goodbye